What's up? I feel kind of sick all of a sudden. Even someone as dense as you can feel it? Who are you calling? Wait, does that mean you can feel it too? Ugh, what a feeling. Yuri... Estelle too? I'm... fine. Don't overexert yourself. We can rest here and have a look around. Seriously? What's going on? Ever since we got here... If a monster attacked us right now, I don't think I'd be up to it. Saying stuff like that is the best way to attract monsters, you know. <sighs> Yuri! If you're gonna keel over, couldn't you do it in the middle of a crowded city street? I can't be expected to be there to catch you every time. Yes, thank you. I'm still doing okay. This is air. What? I thought air couldn't be seen with the naked eye. If it's dense enough, it can be. Estelle, weren't you saying something about that earlier? That dense air is bad for the body. Yes. High density air can occasionally have very negative effects on the human body. It made you pass out in the Koi Woods, too. Really? Wow. Maybe we should get out of here. But 
we still haven't made sure if the mercenaries are here or not. I guess that's true, but... Let's keep moving. It looks like this Blastia is linked to the door. How do we open it? It seems that we have to carefully put together the symbols to form the right phrase. Wouldn't it be faster to break in? That's not a good idea. What if it makes the door stop working? Hey, something's coming out of it. So, should we just put some letters in here? Hey, didn't we pick up some odd pieces of paper? Actually, come to think of it, could this be a clue to the passcode? Seems we need to use our mind to get an answer. Let's look at the paper again. Blastia is causing it. And probably this strange feeling as well. Huh. He's similar to the ones at Emid Hill in Capua Noor. Is it broken? When a Blastia breaks, it loses its ability to take in air. There's no way it would get like this. So, what's going on? I don't know. What could he be trying to do? W was that a monster? Take it easy, you're not feeling well. And there aren't any doctors around here. Huh? But... but I... Ah! The barrier's gonna fail. Don't worry, that's a reverse barrier. A reverse barrier? It's a powerful barrier for holding monsters. He won't get out of there anytime soon. But the air here... this isn't normal. I got a bad feeling about this. It's starting to disappear! Rita! Calm down, I'll have it fixed in no time. So who are the numbskulls that decided to go and ignore our friendly warning? Sorry, none of us here are nice enough to take your friendly warning seriously. Huh, <laughs> you don't say. Well now... If it isn't that runt Carol who got his sorry butt cut from the team! The air must be affecting him. Looks pretty thick over there. That's just what we want. You all just sit tight and behave yourselves. We're only interested in taking out this big brute. You sure talk big. Taking care of a pet is a big responsibility, you know. Don't go abandoning him for someone else to take care of. Again. Whew. Hey, I feel better. The barrier's down. Of course, that dragon freak broke the Blastia. You're dead, freak. Dead. Yeah, that's it. Show me some anger. Show me what a monster's like. Now I'm gonna mop the floor with you. Huh? Looks like he wants the first piece of action, Clint. Well, come and get some then!
our balance. I've never seen anything like it before. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I guess we gotta take care of someone else's pet. Monster was huge. Hey, what's with the kid? Oh. We made it. What about Carol? There ain't a monster alive that wasn't born to be my punching bag! Master, it's too dangerous! This monster's mine, even if it costs me my life! Something comes up, and it's just poof! You're gone! Always, always running away by yourself! 
it's not like that. Not like what? Like I said back in Halur. I'm not talking about Halur. If you're not ashamed of anything, then shouldn't you hurry back to your friends? It's just that... No need to explain to me. I think you've got other people who'll listen to you. Huh? Guys. Carol, I'm so glad you're safe. Where the hell did you go? We were really in a jam back there. I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, at least you made it out in one piece. I'm leaving. Wait! You think long and hard about what you've done. That's all I have to say to you. Hey, cut it out! Let's get going, Carol. We're all tired. Yuri... Man, we were way off. The Blood Alliance was nowhere to be seen. No kidding. We'll have to take any information that guy gives us with a grain of salt. Guy? You don't mean... Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna roast that deadbeat the moment I see him! Let's... let's take it easy on the way back. It's not like I... Hey, you're gonna get left behind. I'm coming! So air is more than just a handy substance for making Blastia work, huh? Oh, the questions amateurs ask, I swear. Air affects everything in the world. Our own bodies, the growth of living organisms, even the weather. So the Blastia in Rago's palace that controlled the weather was interfering with the air? Correct. So then, that means the air here is interfering with the processes in our bodies. I mean, I can handle it, but is it really a good idea for us to be in air this dense? We shouldn't stay here too long, especially runts like you who are still growing. The younger you are, the more of an effect the air will have. Huh, guess that makes sense.